Okay, so this is a review of um, Neil Lauritsen's Concrete Abstract Algebra from Numbers to Grignard Bases. Um, I really like this book. It was the one I learned abstract algebra from the second time. Um, I ended up not finishing. I got about three quarters of the way through another class and really didn't understand it. And this book helped me a lot. Although it may be because I already I, I knew vaguely a lot of the information already and this really helped to um, uh, uh, push it forward so maybe that's what I would say you might want to use this as a compliment or well, if not the book for your abstract algebra class um, it's, a, it's not that expensive as these kind of books go so I can recommend it on that front as well um, the book I used the first time which I didn't like was uh, abstract algebra by John Beachy and William Blair um, although it seems to have gotten very good reviews, I didn't like it. Um, it was overly wordy when it didn't have to be, and was un it was pedagogically not awful. It was it was doable, but it's so long and so unhelpful with being long that you're really frustrated with it. So yeah, this one is much better. And as a bonus, you get to go into um, Gribnia bases, which are not often discussed in abstract algebra classes, and they're really interesting. Um, well, if, if you're interested in algebraic geometry, um, especially applied algebraic geometry, this would be a good place to go. Then there's an introduction to algorithms, uh, let's see, uh, algebraic, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll do a review of that one later. Um, there's a, there's, there's Cox, Little, O'Shea have two books after this, that not written by Lauritsen, but written by them, that are really easy to understand if you've read this book, because this, it gets you through the beginning of Grimner Basis, they push it forward if you're interested in applied abstract algebra, uh, specifically real abstract algebra, as in real, not complex. Um, yeah, I, I, I rate this book uh, five stars.